We are now in the cool, breezy city of Tagaytay in Cavite to witness the first and the longest running UCI sanctions race in the Philippines. The multi-stage cycling race, La Tour de Filipinas, celebrates its first decade of sports excellence. It has undergone several name changes, starting with its original predecessor in 1955 when the Tour of Luzon covered the distance from Manila to Vigan. In 1979, it was renamed Marlboro Tour and became the FedEx Express Tour in 2002. From 2003 to 2004, cyclists knew it as Tour Filipinas. From Golden Tour in 2005, it was rebranded as Padyak Pinoy from 2006 to 2009. In 2010, it was accredited by the Union Cycles Internacional and was called La Tour de Filipinas. This year, 15 teams will battle it out in five back-breaking stages with a total distance of 822.2 kilometers. Spectators can look forward to 10 foreign teams and 5 local clubs trying to snag qualifying points for next year's World Olympics. Also displaying their new cycling chops are two former victors, including 2014 champion Mark Galeto, pedaling for Siles Cyclos Bianchi Philippines. Uh, since since Padyak Pinoy pa lang nandito na ako sa Little Di Pilipinas eh, tsaka nung Padyak Pinoy year 21, since 2006, naglalaro na ako dito eh. Uh, ano yung feeling ko, pag itong race na to yung sinasalihan ko, iba yung ano eh, iba yung excitement, challenge lagi, every year halos iba-iba nakakalaban. Kaya ano eh, hindi mo masabing madali. 2018 title holder El Joshua Carino, who hails from the cradle cycling champions Pangasinan, will also defend his crown. Uh, bali, six months po kami nag-prepare sa laro to. At uh, may mga tuna place din kami before place. Kaya tingin ko prepare naman po kami sa Litor de Pilipinas 2019. Also posing a big threat is Team Sapura Cycling, who topped the 2018 Asia Tour ranking for Malaysian riders. Today, we are blessed with generally fair weather and tons of spectators. Who are they rooting for? Let's find out. Philippine National Team. Sila, siyempre, dati pa lang. Idol ko na yun, sila John Paul Morales, Ronald Oranza, si Jun Ray Navarra. Filipinas! Siyempre, Filipina tayo eh! The tour kicked off with a short yet demanding 129.5 kilometers out and back course with several climbs in Tagaytay City. It featured two intermediate sprints and a Category 3 King of the Mountain Challenge. A four-man breakaway group led by Philippine national team's John Paul Morales escaped from the peloton with a 20-second time gap just before the first intermediate sprint in Lian, Batangas. Six riders led by Bike Extreme's RJ Kaul overtook the initial breakaway group, leaving them with the peloton while traversing Kalaka, Batangas. Mohamed ABD Rasim of Team Sapura Cycling, who crashed with Oliver Real Foods Racing's Konor Murta earlier on, returned the peloton at the 38 kilometers and pulled ahead during the second intermediate sprint where he ranked second fastest. The high slopes in Talisay Sampalak Road tested the mettle of the cyclist. In the last five kilometers, Taiwan Moiji Cycling Team's Jerome Mayors separated from the breakaway group with about a half minute time. Soon, the trailblazing came to an end with a solo leader. Surging to the top is Mayors, clocking in at 3 hours, 6 minutes, and 59 seconds. The 26 year old Dosh also snatched the orange jersey for the Cargo House Best Sprinter Classification and Blue Jersey for the NMM Best Climber Classification, despite racing on Philippine soil for the first time. Pedaling second is Oliver's Real Food Racing's Angus Lions, while landing on the third spot was 7-Eleven Click Air 21 Road Bike Philippines Eritrean rider Daniel Hapti Michael, who also earned the red jersey for being best young rider. 
And for the stage one first placer from Taiju One Miyoji Cycling Team, we have rider number 52, Jeruen Mayers. Uh, yeah, I've been here already six days, so the heat is going to be every day better. And I did a training day and I was going yeah, almost full gas on the climb, so I can feel a little bit which pace I could ride. And I just, uh, beginning of the climb, I just waited a little bit and then I feel, okay, I, I can go faster. So then I tried and it worked out. Finishing at the 10th spot is our very own Marcelo Felipe, who was awarded Best Filipino Rider. At uh, nung nagtuloy yung umakyat na yung arms ko dito na lang sa last 300 meters, nung parating na ako sa matihan na lang sa finish line. Kaya pinilit kong isurvive kasi pag hindi ko pinilit na survive yun, mga naiwan na ako ng 5 minutes. So ganun, mas nahirapan na akong habulin para bukas yun. Meanwhile, defending champion El Joshua Carino and another local vet Ronald Oranza are out from the race for failing to finish within the time limit. They suffered cramps during the uphill battle right before the finish line.